What are you making? It's me, the Aunt to be the Queen, and today's video is something that I'm very excited to share with you. Now, it's a little different. It's a cooking video, and I've partnered with Raw Spice Bar to show you some really great Sunday, like, breakfast options. Now, they have a twist, though, because Raw Spice Bar actually sent me all the spices that go into each dish, and you can do this, too. Now, Raw Spice Bar is a monthly subscription that sends you spice packets that allows you to create the most delicious meals, and this is what it kind of looks like. Now, keep in mind, I've used them because I wanted to film the intro and the extra to this video after I've eaten the food, and they all come in these individually sealed packets. Now, what's really great is that they also, and let me just grab it here, provide you with uh, recipes for each spice packet. And they don't even just offer you one, they offer you two different options. So as you're going to see, I picked three of my favorites that looked so good and I decided to make them. Actually, I didn't. Sugar Bear did. I just reaped the rewards and got to try them. And I will let you know what my favorites were after the video. And just to give you some more information on Raw Spice Bar, one of the things that I really love about it is that each month they pick a new region to kind of feature. And the month that I received was all Indian inspired flavors. So it gives you a nice little write up on what they've decided to choose for that month and basically a little write up about what you can expect with those type of flavors and the region that it came from. And what I also like about it is that it actually gives you the ingredients list right on the package. So you know exactly what spices go into this. So if you have any allergies or maybe you just don't really like a certain spice, you know exactly what you're about to get yourself into. Now this one was really delicious because it was all Indian inspired flavors and it kind of gave a twist on the old fashioned Sunday brunches that you're probably used to. And I thought it was just a really neat idea. I'm so happy that they reached out and I will have all of their information down in the description bar so that you can go and you can order yourself a flavor packet because why not? It gives you a little bit of a boost in your normal food routine and it kind of opens you up to a whole world of new flavors, especially if you're someone who doesn't maybe necessarily have the ingredients to prepare certain dishes from other parts of the world. And it's $8 a month. Again, I'll have all the information down below. Without further ado, here are my three winter brunch ideas inspired by Raw Spice Bar. Alrighty, so first up, you're gonna pour all of your ingredients minus the apples into a bowl. You want to whisk it until it's all mixed together and kind of looks like this. Next, in your skillet, you want to heat up some butter and then throw in all of those apples. Next, pour on the remaining half of your sugar and then add in your raw spice bar, pack it. Next, drizzle on the brandy and give it a good stir and cook it for about five minutes until the apples are not mushy, but a little on the wet side, but definitely browned. Then you wanna take those apples and get yourself a bowl and strainer and strain the juices and separate the apples so that you can use the juice a little bit later on in the recipe. Now you want to grease a pie dish or a casserole dish and pour in half of the batter until it's all covering the bottom. Give it a shake so you don't get any air bubbles. And then add in your apples. Now if you get a little juice, that's okay, but just make sure you try to drain as much as you can. Next, pour on the other half of the batter and bake it for 25 to 30 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Drizzle on the top of that juice and there you have it. A delicious, hearty, cake, dessert type breakfast, perfect for a Sunday brunch. Mm -hmm. 
All right, to make the cornbread, you wanna combine all your dry ingredients in a large bowl and then give it a really great stir. Then in a new bowl, you want to combine all your wet ingredients and put a little scoop in the middle of your mashed potatoes to kind of make room for your eggs. Make sure you scoop out all that yogurt. Do not leave any behind. Use a spatula if you have to and then give it a really good whisk. You wanna combine it all and you wanna break up those eggs. Then you're gonna take your dry ingredients and pour the wet ingredients on top and mix it, mix it, mix it. Then in an already preheated skillet, you're gonna add the remaining half of your butter and throw on the cornmeal mix. Now we had a little bit of a tr issue with a smaller skillet so make sure you have a big one. And then there you have have it a delicious hot cornbread breakfast with a little bit of pumpkin spice flavoring perfect to heat you up And then for the last recipe, you're gonna add your eggs, your milk in a bowl, and you're gonna whisk it all together. Make sure you scramble up the eggs in the bowl, leaving no hard yolk. Then in a skillet, you're gonna heat up some butter, your green onions, that raw spice bar packet, and then give it a really great stir, cooking the green onions for about five minutes. We added parsley, it said in the recipe you could, so we decided to, then we threw in our tomatoes. We let that cook for another five to 10 minutes and then added our egg mixture right into the skillet. Now this is kind of a scrambled egg omelet so you wanna give it a good stir and make sure that it's not too overdone but not really runny and then there you have it. It's a little bit on the spicy side and it's gonna fill you up and make you all warm if you have to venture out in the cold. Honestly, I'm going to list the favorites that I consumed in order. Uh, number one had to be that apple chai pie cake, whatever you want to call it. Sugar Bear made it. It was so easy to make, as you can see in the video. All of the recipes are so quick and easy, and it cuts out the middleman because they provide you all the spices. And what I like about it is that the recipes itself were really well written, so it told you exactly what you needed and how to do it, and it was very easy, as you can see. And then the second one had to go to the egg dish. Now, I was a little nervous before I ate this kind of omelet dish because I just didn't know what to expect. A lot of my friends have had like Indian style egg dishes before. I haven't. And I was a little nervous just because of some of the particular spices that were in that particular package. So I, honestly, I'm not a big fan of cumin or coriander. And that is the first two ingredients in the package. But I'm glad I tried it because it was delicious. And now I know that maybe I don't like that spice on its own, but with other spices and other ingredients, it is delicious. Now, not saying that the third one is one that I didn't think was good, it's just I thought the other two were better, in my opinion, but that was the cornbread. Now, I love the fact that it had a twist on it with the pumpkins, like spices in there, and it gave you a whole new way of thinking about those kind of dishes like cornbread with pumpkin in it and I'm so used to the manufactured type of cornbread that you get at restaurants that has so much sugar and not a lot of flavor and this was a complete like 180 you get so much flavor and a different type of flavor that you're not used to and it gets you thinking like oh okay so a little pumpkin spice my cornbread all right all those dishes were made back to back and it only took us like two hours to to film make bake and then eat so if it's taking us only two hours when we have to set up shots and videotape it just think how fast it'll take you if you decide to recreate the same dishes all right so again thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video I will have all the information you need highly recommend it the just the woman herself who reached out she was so helpful the website's so fantastic and again it just gives you a whole new 
life of possibilities when it comes to cooking some of your favorite dishes. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to follow me all over the internet, my username is Auntie Beauty Queen, the same way it's spelled here. Uh, very easy. I'm on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flippy flop. Bye.